hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a story time about why i started bullet journaling this is a question that i get asked the most on all of my videos why did you start bullet journaling how where did you see it and i figured doing a little story time would help you guys understand more of how i got into it i'm gonna start off this video with a little backstory of how i got into it so around december of last year i ended up quitting my job because my ex-boyfriend who was my boyfriend at the time um was leaving for the military we had found out he was leaving in march and i wanted to spend as much time with him as possible and i was in a position where i had been working for years and saving up a lot of money and i just didn't have to work it was the winter it was cold i hated leaving the house and i honestly just wanted to spend time with him as much as i could before he left that was a decision that i decided to make and i think i do think it was the right decision because if i didn't i would have never gotten into bullet journaling i believe that everything happens for a reason and i think that this led me into this so we spent so much time together up until march and then at the end of march he ended up leaving and it was the hardest thing that i had to go through it was it really put me in shock and i didn't expect it we had been dating for around a year and i knew that he was leaving i knew he always wanted to join the military but i just i didn't expect myself to react the way i did i just felt very alone and my body went into complete shock we spent every single day together we just enjoyed each other's company we loved being around each other and when he left it was honestly such a shock to me so on to the backstory of this i had been watching a ton of youtube videos about like how to make your military significant other like feel special and a lot of people said that they get really lonely and they miss home a lot so i decided to start writing him letters and i just loved it because it was like I was talking to him and I was able to get it out. So I went ahead and bought a ton of different fun colored pens and I just really enjoyed writing letters. And I would make sure that I wrote him a letter every single day so that he would get one every day and wouldn't feel alone or sad. I mean, obviously I knew he was going through a lot. Like it was really hard to go through basic training, but I thought that it would help. So I started writing letters every day and I would just write in them about my day, how my day was going, how I've been, how I've been feeling, just updates about everything, what I've been up to and i loved writing letters so he was gone for about eight weeks and it was really hard on me but after he got out of basic training i stopped writing letters because we were able to text and call and stuff but i realized that i loved journaling so much so i continued to journal on my own journal just writing my feelings and thoughts out and then coincidentally something came up on my for you page on tiktok of bullet journaling and i had never heard of it before and i'm so thankful to this girl's video that i found i follow the girl still and I, I know exactly who she is and i'm so grateful that i came across this video so basically i saw it and i thought oh my goodness like this is for me like this literally is made for me so i decided to do a ton of research on it i started looking on pinterest google youtube youtube was the most informative for me because i felt like they really started with like the basics and explained everything about it i was able to really understand like the idea of bullet journaling and that it's not like a specific thing that you have to follow like you can make it the way you want to and i just felt like in a time where i had no job i was very alone like i just felt you know i had so much free time on my hands like this was perfect for me so first i started off by obviously ordering a journal and some pens and highlighters that the girl recommended the one that i had found her video and i went ahead and ordered those from amazon they came and i started journaling so i started off by creating some spreads that i had found on pinterest i thought that those would be beneficial for me and as i started uh creating them i found that i just enjoyed it so much like i loved every aspect of it and so I started making everything like perfect for me and what would help me in journaling. I decided to share my journey of journaling through TikTok. And so I started creating videos about it and I was getting tons of comments saying, you should sell these. And I was like, hmm, okay, maybe I should. <laughs> Once I got like a high demand of people asking me for them, I had to think to myself, like, how can I recreate these? So I had a printer at home that was my parents and I decided let me make copies of these and the color on it was not great so I decided I would color every single one in. So when I first started they were all hand colored by me. It took me hours and I just like enjoyed it so much like there were so many people who were like you inspire me so much and it just like motivated me to want to continue to do it. 
So I started in June of 2021. Once I began selling the copies and I was coloring them in, I had sold um, probably about a hundred of those, I would say. And then those were all for the month of July. I thought to myself, how can I improve my spreads and make them a lot more colorful and just better quality? So my sister suggested to me that I could use her iPad and create them digitally. And at first I was against this because I was like, no, it's not hand-drawn, it's not the same. I want it to be hand-drawn. But I decided I might as well try it out. So my sister let me use her iPad and I was very grateful because the spreads came out beautiful. This was when I made my August set, which was hot air balloons, and I absolutely loved them. So then from there, I just took them from the iPad and I printed them out on the printer and they were such better quality than the copied spreads were, of course. And so I decided like, this is what I have to do. So my sister allowed me to use her iPad for about a month. And then after that, I decided I would invest in my own because I wanted to make spreads whenever I could and I wanted to continue it every single month. So around this point, I decided to create a separate account from my main TikTok account just for journaling. And that's what I call Jessica's Journal. It's probably about like what 99.9% .9 of you have found me through that account. And I'm so grateful for it. It has done so well. So at first, I only had a couple thousand followers and then one of my videos got a ton of views. I started getting a ton more followers, so many orders. At that point, I had my Etsy shop up. I started it from the beginning back in June and I was so grateful for it. I got so many orders and I just continued to get more orders. So there were so many people asking me, can you please put this in a full book for me? I want to buy the full year from you. And at this point, I was in like September, October, and I was like, this is not possible. I cannot hand create them. So I looked into a bunch of different companies, you know, like printing companies and stuff like that, just so that I could like explore my options of how I can make a full journal. And I found the six ring binders that I currently have on my shop. And I thought to myself, oh my goodness, this is perfect. I just could envision it. So I ordered some of those. And then I thought, how can I divide each month? I said, ooh, how about some like dividers of some sort? And I started looking into it. And then I found the 12 monthly tab dividers that I now have on my shop. And I thought, oh my God, like this could not be more perfect. So I decided to order those and I got enough to match the binders. And that is how I started creating my journals that I now sell on my shop. I also thought it would be a great idea to have highlighters that could go with it because people are always asking me, where do you get your highlighters from? Where do you get your pens from? Where's this from? Where's that from? And I'm like, if I could offer all of that on my shop, I can just tell them, go to my shop and you can find everything there. This was such an amazing opportunity for me to share something that I am so passionate about and something that I love so much with so many people who are so inspired and interested by the things that I create. So I really felt like this was like the perfect opportunity for me. So grateful that I came across bullet journaling just in general because it has been like amazing for me. Like I am just beyond thankful. I have no words for how thankful I could be. When I first introduced my journals, I got maybe two or three orders within the first few days. And then I started getting like five to 10 orders for journals every day. And I was like shocked. I mean, I was really shocked. So this was around September, October, like I said, and I decided to go ahead and order another 100 journals and they sold out. And then I ordered 500 journals and they sold out. And this is just how my business has been growing. And I continue to share my videos of my journals on my TikTok account and so many people love it. I have created so many friendships with people just through journaling because they enjoy journaling and they enjoy the style of my journals and the way that I create things. And I literally could not be more grateful for that. So this is basically the story of how I began journaling, why I started. I get asked this question pretty much every single day of why I started or how I started or how I began my business, how I started selling my items. So that is pretty much just like a quick rundown of why I started my business and how I started it and the inspiration behind it. And I just want to say like my business continues to grow every single day and I have never been more grateful for something in my life. I am so thankful for this opportunity that this business has given me in life. I'm currently studying education in school, but I'm deeply considering switching to business because I love every single aspect of owning my own business. I definitely would not be able to do this without you guys and all of the support that I have. I'm so thankful. I've created so many friendships, inspired so many people. I get messages every single day of people telling me how grateful they are for me and like how I inspired them and it just means so much to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video on why I got started on bullet journaling and if you have any more questions about bullet journaling just in general let me know. I'm actually going to be doing a Q&A, a, a bullet journaling q and I'll be asking for questions through my Instagram which is Jessica's Journal Shop so if you're not following that you should go follow that but if you'd like you could leave a comment below and I'll answer that in the video as well. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like or a comment and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.